Watch this right here. This is where the match is going to happen. I'm going to go slow so you can see it. I tap once, nothing happens. Tap twice, nothing happens. Third tap, they pass right through each other. I know, right here. We'll do it again. Watch right very carefully right over here. One, two, three. Go ahead, examine the rings. I mean, make sure they're actually solidly linked together. Pull on them. Spin it between your hands. Do they have any holes in them anywhere? Any yep. seats? Precisely. That's what makes this so incredible. Now watch this. this. Woo -ha! Uh, and they're still linked together. Oh, God. My lovely assistant here is going to be helping me the entire time, right? My own Vanna White. Here, watch this right here. Do you see where they're touching? That's where they're going to pass through. Yeah, nice and close, nice and close. Watch this right here. One, nothing. Two, nothing. Voila. Yeah, that's the you son of a bitch look right over there. Here, one, one, two, three. Three! Just like that, they link right together. So we have three rings linked onto one. We can also change this here, watch, into a chain of four. The bottom one can be the top one, whatever you want, just like this. Watch these rings on the table. Here, folks, over on this side, come on over a little closer. The closer you are, the bigger I get. Hey there, sir, how you doing? So watch, one, two, three, they pass right through. One, two, three, and one. We got two, and two, and finally, one, and one, just like this. Gonna spin it on the table. And it links right on. Go ahead. Pull it right off. And it links right on just like this. Here, sir, hold on to this ball for me. I'm going to get you in just a little bit, all right? Watch this. In fact, anybody can do this. Vanna White. You don't mind if I call you Vanna, right? Grab a hold of the bottom ring. Use both your hands. One hand on each side. One hand on each side. And tap it straight up here three times. One, two. I know, I know. My freak. All right, here. Let's count these bad boys out one more time here. This right here, this is ring number one. This right here is ring number two. Ring number three and four are actually an illusion because they're not linked at all. They're not even touching each other. It's an optical illusion. But we're going to do a little bit more magic happening right over here for you lovely folks. A little bit of magic involving actually that little white ball that you have there and this cup. So uh, we'll pass up the ball right over here and uh, we're going to be uh, playing together, you and I. What's your name, by the way? Michael. Mark? Michael. Michael, nice to meet you, Michael. My name's William. Now, Michael, your job is to follow what's going on here. Now, true story, true story. Here, one step back so everybody can see. There are hieroglyphics. This next piece of magic is from Egypt. There are hieroglyphics of the magicians in Egypt performing this. They're way up there. Uh, if it was down here, it would be called lower glyphics. All right? It's a low con game, which people play, called Keep Your Eye on the Little White Ball, Michael. All right? We're gonna be, I'm going to be making fun of you a little bit here. Keep your eye on the little white ball. So, Michael, we're going to go ahead and begin. We have the cup. We have the ball. So, Michael, where is the little white ball? Right there. Where, and where is there? On the... On top, top of the cup. cup. And precisely. That's what most people say. But actually, you're wrong. It is on the bottom of the cup. The cup is upside down. No, I'm just messing with you, Michael. Right there. I'm going to put my hands in my pocket, Michael, so I don't cheat. Michael, where is the little white ball? On top of the cup. On top of the bottom. You catch on quick. All right, now, Michael, be very quick and very simple to follow because sometimes I sneak that ball into my right hand. If that ball gets into my right hand, the ball's in my right hand. If it's in my right hand, it can't be under the cup. If it's on the cup like that, it can't be in the hand. If it's in the hand, it can't be on the cup. If on the other hand, it was under the cup, it couldn't be in my pocket. If it's in my pocket, it couldn't be in the cup. See, if it's in my pocket, you know it's in my pocket. If it's in my pocket, it can't be up there. If it's up there, it can't be down here. If it's down here, it can't be in the pocket at the same time. If it's in the pocket, it can't be in there. If it's up there, it can't be down here. If it's down here, the cup and ball are separate and the cup and the ball are separate. They can't be together. If they're together, they can't be separate. And you guys aren't following this, are you? All right. I'll go slowly. I'll go slowly so you can catch on. Here. Instant replay. Instant replay. You're even nodding in slow motion. Where's the ball? Yeah. In the cup, precisely. Here, we'll take the ball out of the cup, and this is where they get you. For the big money, where is the ball right now? In the cup. In the cup? No, it can't be under the cup, right? Yeah. Wrong. All right, so now, Michael, what do you do for a living, Michael? What do you do for a living? Your occupation. You go to school. I forget school. All you need is a cup and a ball. I've been out here for like 10 minutes. People are already ready to just throw me in money. I'll tell you guys how this works. It's very simple. You get a cup and a ball, and you put the ball into the cup just like this, all right? Just like that. And here, I'm going to give you this paper. This is my grand finale right over here. We're going to be working with that in just a moment, all right? Grand finale. And what you do is when you turn it over, you take the ball out with a sweeping, swooping motion and put it into your bag. And then when it's in the bag, you flick the ball with your bag. Yeah, it's okay, we're in Las Vegas, it's okay to do that. You flick the ball with the bag, it goes up the arm, across, down underneath the cup, just like that. Now you want to make sure that you don't flick your balls too hard. If you flick your balls too hard, they begin to swell. That's what they have right But if one of them swells, the other one does. Like that. All right, four balls juggling, four balls in the air at the same time. 
<laughs> All right, folks, I got one final illusion I would like to perform for you. My grand finale, my grand finale involving this little newspaper right here. This newspaper and, uh, let's go ahead, uh, I, I want to borrow some water from somebody as well. Does somebody have a, a thing of water which I can borrow? Right oh, perfect. Here, I, I just need a little bit of it. Um, yeah, well, I'll get, I'll get to it in a second, so unscrew the top. We'll get to the water in just a second. So ladies and gentlemen, my name is William, the entertainer out here on Fremont Street. Have you guys enjoyed my magic show? Yeah! Yeah. yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I said the most important thing is inside these newspapers. And the thing is, is as we read the newspapers nowadays, we come across things of sorrow, unfairness, pain, anger, and all sorts of negative things. Because sometimes life doesn't feel fair. And so, as we read the news nowadays, it fills us with sorrow about the happenings in the world. And my job as a magician is to take that sorrow and if even for a moment, Make it disappear. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, my name is William, entertainer out here on Fremont Street. I hope that you enjoyed my show. At the end of the show, I will be passing my hat for tips and donations. So folks, if I filled you with a little bit of joy, a little bit of magic, a little bit of wonderment, find it in your heart reach into your wallet and together we can make true magic. Happen. Thank you all very much ladies and gentlemen. My name is William. Here's my hat and have a magical rest of your day. Thank you.